Rising prices, inflation and soaring energy bills are having a huge impact on our essential hospitality industry and are forcing many businesses to shut up shop for good. Jeff Moody, he's at the White Horse in, in Droxford in Hampshire, a pub which has been forced to close. I am indeed, and I've been here for most of the morning. And what has really struck me is the the love that people from this area have for this pub and for the food that it serves and for the landlord and the landlady. Um, Sheikh, you're the landlord. I've got quite a few of them around the table here. Um, Very briefly, why have you been forced to close? I mean, as we discussed in the morning, that the situation for the rising cost and everything didn't left any choice. But from this platform, I would like to request the government to uh, support the smaller businesses like ours and give us some sort of support quickly. Otherwise, lots of businesses will go out of uh, die instantly with us rising costs. So from this platform, I would like to thank all the customers across Hampshire, which have supported over the years. And I'm very grateful to all those people who have really sent us lots of messages across that saying that how sad news it is for the pub industry and the local people who are around us today to support us as well. Yeah, Thank and, you and, and you're welcome. And, and, and people, I don't know why I'm saying you're welcome. <laughs> I haven't done anything. <laughs> but um, people uh, come from all over yes. the, the South. People come from Bognor, you were telling me, and all sorts of places just to come here. Alex, you're the landlady here. How does it feel that, to have put in so much hard work over so long for it to come to this? Um, it feels extraordinary um, that we put so much hard work, but we are just so disappointed to see it come to this. We just gutted. We can't believe that this is happening. It's like an, a bit of a nightmare, and uh, it's it's terrifying to think that we don't know what the future might hold for us, um, and where we're going to go, what we're going to do. Um, and for our families and kids, I mean, it's just, and it's not just us, it's chefs as well who are, who have their families and their families' future is involved in. It's very interesting that, that a lot of your customers are, are very upset about this happening. Um, and some of them have joined me now to discuss this. Guys, what do you make of this decision? Oh, my goodness me, it's just horrendous. This little pub is a real community hub that has a real buzz. And the food, as you've already... It's just exquisite. And, you know, we are so blessed in this village to have, you know, the Baker's Arms, the White Lion in Soberton, um, the, the Buck's Head and Meanstock, the Shewer Eat, and the um, Thomas Lord at Westmeon. But they're all English pubs. You know, and I think the Brits can honestly say they're probably their favourite. Their favourite foreign food is Indian. Mm. So aren't we lucky and blessed to have something we can come down the road to with these amazing people who work so hard? Uh, this isn't going to be the first pub that closes its doors, is it? This is going to be something that occurs a, a, a lot. What do you make of this price cap that's been announced today, Eight, a rise of 80% in bills? I think it's absolutely terrifying, absolutely terrifying. We were talking earlier, I think we were going to get to a stage where it's heat or eat, and I think I saw earlier it's like seven out of ten pubs are going to be struggling now. Um, mm. we're, we're really scared for this lovely family, and we're really saddened as a village that, that we're going to be losing them um, it, it's just awful. Like Victoria said, you know, we, we come here because the food is different and people come for the amazing food and they stay for the outstanding hospitality. Well, from, from what I've seen of this morning, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty convinced that you guys will find somewhere else locally and that you guys will support it and, and you will be a big success That'll in the future. This is, this, this is not the end of it. But uh, for now, back to you. Mm-hmm. See, economics is not just about numbers and spreadsheets. It's about real people. It's about real emotion. A community there in Droxford in Hampshire clearly devastated that a much-loved local pub is closing. And just to reiterate, there is no price cap for businesses. So a pub like that will be exposed to two, three, four, five-fold increases in wholesale energy prices.